Hey friends, it's Sandra. Welcome to the channel, Creatively Sandra. Welcome back and thanks for joining again. I am doing a up pin board today. I have a new pin board that we're gonna be decorating and then filling and rearranging. And so I'm just bringing you with me to um, do all that organization and then I'll show you the finished product. So let's go. So this is the space that I've planned for my frame. And soon you'll see a reveal of the whole wall, but this is something I have to get done before you can see that. Now, let me move over and show you the frame. So here's the frame we're gonna be using. I purchased this at Hobby Lobby, and it is about 31, a little more than that, maybe 31 and a half by 11. And so this beading on it is super cute. It could represent balloons, for a great up pin board, but I've also seen it painted a light blue. So that's what we're gonna be working on today, painting this and um, getting this ready to be my new up pin board to go on this space on the wall. So this is really large to get in the frame, but I'll show you how I'm going to just tape off and start to paint this. Um, I cut my edge of some 3M painter's tape. Already got a bit of a mess here on this reused paint uh, drip paper. <laughs> and I've got several brushes I'm using. I just pulled out a bunch because I'm not sure what side, size I'll need. Um, I know I'm gonna need some smaller ones to get in some of the smaller spaces. I've got my cup of water to rinse off, my paint palette, and the paint I'm using is just an Artist Loft brand from um, Michaels, I believe, and it is light blue is the color. Okay, and now we just paint. And I will come back with the finished project. And the painting is done. So we're ready for the reveal. Take off my tape that I had here and these papers and then I'll give you a view of the whole thing on my messy desk here so just now trying to remove the edges here sometimes they'll stick a little bit because I did paint right over them but you can take something to kind of pry them out those pieces as they're if they're stuck in there the rest is coming off fairly easy for me and it's pretty good there's tiny bits on the edges of the fabric here and that looks like something got through but that's not a problem because we will cover it up with pins so i'll get these last two little pieces out with uh, tweezers and then we will be on to moving our pins onto the pin board. Okay, so we've seen the board. We're gonna fill it. We're gonna take our existing up boards now and see what we can do. So here is the original board I had, and this was one I painted, I put the um, Paradise Falls on there, and I do love it. Um, but obviously I've outgrown it and this is just one of them. And then I have another board I started and trying to find a way to separate the existing pins off the old board and create a new board. I was thinking in terms of, okay, well, I'll do everything that is specifically balloon related, like the house hanging from the balloons or the characters hanging from the balloons. 
eh, some are, I guess, questionable. So, okay, great for these, but does, let's say, this one fit in there? <laughs> or this one? Um, I don't know. This one? Okay, so I don't know what we're going to do putting everything on the board, but we also have a few new pins. So this, these are all ones I've showed on my channel before, but these are the ones that haven't been... Actually, I think this one was on the board and I took it down the other day to show it to someone. I've got a newer pin that was shown. I don't think any of these are new to you guys if you've been following my channel, but... Um, they are new to the board that we'll have to add. And this one I think was also on the balloon board and I took down for the live this past weekend. And then this was one that I acquired, trying not to get caught in the shadow here too much. We'll bring the camera down just a bit as we start to separate these. And then brand, brand new that I just picked up is the Up House. And I'm not sure if this video or the one where I bought this will be coming out first yet, so Alright, so let's get these pins off the board and go ahead and try to organize them. Here we go. Let's start with Carl and Ellie and kind of work them in over here. What I decided to do is make this the centerpiece for now because I know I'm going to replace it. And then this can move over to the balloon board. I'm trying to change up. I just didn't like how symmetrical things were looking when I started lining up like the Doug pins are all in line. 
kind of want to get that, hmm, not so much. Maybe that. There we go. Put the big pin over there. And then Kevin's little area started to feel aligned. Yeah, we're going to move that one down. And that one up a tiny bit. And I think I like this the way it is. We have a progression on this side of young Carl and Ellie to older Carl and Ellie. Young, very young, <laughs> getting married, young couple, and then the older Carl and Ellie. And, they're and I decided to move the gray to over because it is very I'm going to push all these down, and then we're going to move over to the other board. Okay, what I'm loving about this so far is that it's allowing my decorated board to be seen again. So you can see the Paradise Falls illustration I have in the background. I can spread out all the balloon related pins a bit and this is going to be great. So let's push these down again. And done. Okay, so that's going to be it. We now have a free cork board for another collection, and I like it. I think it could probably maybe use some movement. Maybe I'll stare at it for a while and see what needs to change, but again, I like that um, I can see more of the background that I decorated. Um, one thing I don't like about this and the cork boards is, I don't know if you can see it, but having all these small pinholes in the board um, is obvious to me. Hopefully it won't be when it's back up on the wall and maybe in my background now that it's small and I can put it down a little further, um, I can display it. So that's it for that board and that's it for the bigger board. And I mentioned that I will be revealing soon this actually on the wall. In the beginning of this video, I showed you where it's intended to go. I've got to do a little work to get it hung up and then we will show that part as well. Sorry for the, the dip in the camera there. Um, it's leaning to one side. Okay, pin board decorated. And the big board is hung. So the wall is coming along. We are getting there and very soon we'll do a big reveal of the whole wall background. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed all the up pins and I will see you on the next one. Bye.